for joining us. Now, how true are these reports of an attempt to oust NFP President Zanele Gamakwaza Msibi as the party leader? No, from the NFP side, we believe that these are, are merely fabrications from people, from sinister, uh, people with sinister motive out there. I mean, we believe that there are dark forces, I mean, agents of darkness who are hellbound uh, towards creating divisions within the NFP. But now, they will not succeed. The, but the NFP is strong and is forging ahead. And we believe that as a party, we'll be able to face the local government elections as a united force. Now, Professor, I mean, the party has reportedly launched an investigation into the matter. Have you found enough evidence to warrant the investigation? Well, first and foremost, I must say that uh, we believe in the leaders that they are implicating. They are very strong. They have been with the party since its inception. But of course, we don't want to be diverted from the objective of campaigning and also ensuring that we strategically position ourselves towards the upcoming elections. Because what we do know is that this is fabricated by the faceless people out there. I mean, our, the, the, the forces of darkness out there who want us to be diverted to another direction and take our eyes away from our goal, which is that of ensuring that, I mean, we put together our forces, we consolidate our gains, and ensuring that we face the upcoming elections. Of course, when there is such within a party, we don't want to, to be derailed. We have to do our own investigation. Of course, this is the resolution that was taken uh, during the past weekend of the National Working Committee. We had a very good meeting. I must say the leaders that uh, these sinister forces, these agents of darkness are implicating, are very strong leaders and they are rallying behind the president and they are also occupying very strategic and key positions within the party. We trust them and we believe them. There is nothing of the sort. The NFP is very strong. They've been doing this. When the party was founded in 2011, they said the party was just a project that was going to vanish into the thin air like vapor. But the party has gathered momentum. In 2011, we, 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 we had to contest the local government elections and we got 227 councillors nationally. We even got a ward in Northwest and we are now represented in the KZN legislature and also in the national parliament. So we have no time to focus on these agents of darkness. We are forging on Victorious and the NFP. Now, Professor Kubisa, Kubisa if this, this is the case and uh, there's no uh, suspected involvement of plotting uh, to remove the party leader, if, the, if this comes to the fore and there is such a case, what will then happen? I mean, if, if there is such a case, we have to conduct the investigation. I mean, if there is such a case, we have got the constitution of the party. If it is within the party, if it is within the party, we have got the, the constitution. And everyone has got to abide by the constitution of the party. Everyone has got to uphold the values, discipline, and also loyalty within the party. And if it is within the party, that particular individual with the ulterior motive will, fa will have to face the wrath of the law of the party, the supreme law of the party, which is the constitution. But if it is outside, we will then know that these are just sinister forces who are fabricating and peggling lies with an aim of causing some uh, uh, seeds of discord and division within the party. And we'll say, let us forge ahead and master our strength, gather momentum and focus on the goal, which is that of winning the local government election. You know, the Professor NFP Kubisa, unfortunately, we, are, we have run out of time. We would like to take this up again at a later stage. That was uh, Professor Ntlantla Kubisa, the Se Secretary General of the National Freedom Party.